this is a demonstration of the video review lessons for the mechanical PE exam in machine design and materials brought to you by PPI. The full lesson series contains 11 video lessons, much like what you're seeing now, except these lessons will be in full color and with animations. After you get through viewing the video for each of the lessons, we'll have problems for you to solve based on the video and solutions will be nearby. These lessons cover every topic in the specifications for the PE exam with a video lesson of its own, both for the principles and in the applications. Let me show you a little bit about what we cover. We look at engineering economics, but if you think that engineering economics is boring and you can fly by the seat of your pants, you're wrong. We're going to show you a fun way to do economic problems. In the lesson on basic engineering practice, we'll talk about scheduling. In material properties, we'll concentrate on steel, carbon content of steel, alloy content of steel, how you designate and classify steel. And don't forget about plastics. Plastics are an important part of this PE exam. Now, of course, we'll tie our discussion with the Mechanical Engineering Reference Manual. We'll identify chapters, we'll identify appendices, we'll identify equations that we're using in every one of the videos. In joints and fasteners, we'll talk about preload on bolts. What's important about a preload and how to make calculations dealing with preload of bolts. And of course, combined stresses. Difficult topic but we'll take it apart. I like this slide here because it shows that in these video lessons, we solve problems. That's our main goal, not to talk about theory, but to work problems that will be typical of the PE exam. Here we're into vibration and we're looking at how to calculate natural frequencies. And then this mystical damping ratio with the symbol that nobody knows how to say. We do get serious about vibration and vibration analysis and how to identify on a machine what is causing vibrations by frequency spectral diagrams. When we talk about mechanical components, of course we're going to talk about gears and springs and belts and drives, but we're also going to talk about things like hydraulics, fluid power. You can work fluid power problems by having the right set of equations and the right frame of mind. We'll go into manufacturing processes, including making parts from powder metallurgy. And of course, we'll get back to those plastics and plastic processes. In failure and fatigue theory, we'll discuss the difference and the calculations that are necessary in order to be able to use the Soderbergh diagram. So this is a great help for you to pass the PE exam. Give us a try. I hope to see you in class.